Well, throughout the summer, we love to shake things up a little bit at MKCC. And so we've got two very special preachers today. And it's going to be great. And I want you to welcome them. And we're going to listen to Franklin first. And then Rosie is coming straight away afterwards. So let's welcome Franklin, shall we? Two great people in our church who've got something, I believe, to share. Thanks, Franklin. Good to feel without the mask. (laughs) So good morning, church. Good morning to everybody watching online. Um, Greetings to you all in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. So for those of you who don't know, I'm Franklin, I've uh, been uh, part of the MKCC church for the last five years. My family's here, my little one's um, happy. Um, so we're, we're part of this church uh, for the last five years and my children enjoy going to Discovery Kids. So it's a great place, right? Amen. So um, I'm also from Chennai in India. So uh, we also partner with, the, as Pastor was saying, International Gospel Mission, IGM. So it's, it's based in the same city. So it's great to be here today, this morning. So we're going to talk about this um, series, Game Changer. So I was asked to preach on this one. So I want to um, go into the passage. Uh, if, if, I don't know whether it's coming up today or for the service. So I want to read this chapter. John, John chapter 6, verse 5 to 9. So when Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, it would take more than a half year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to buy. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here's a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many? Right, we know this story, um, so feeding the multitudes about the story, right? So I just want to uh, dwell into this one to take you through this. So this story is Jesus was um, on the other side of the Galilee trying to... um, He was doing a lot of miracles and he was crossing the Galilee and then coming to have a rest... But then there were lots of people following him, thousands of people following, right? It's like a crusade on the mountain, like thousands and thousands of people. But the story I want to um, pay attention is, there's two people, right? We saw Andrew bought a little boy, right? So that little boy, I don't know what was his plan uh, that day. Maybe his mom was packing up some picnic or lunch for this little boy. And he ended up there and... And he offered his lunch, right? How many of us we do? I don't know. So he offered his picnic or lunch, whatever he brought that day. So it was great. But but Jesus knew already what he was going to do, right? So the the first point I want to talk about is the little things you do. The little boy and Andrew have no idea, but they they came forward, what, what they had, right? So he brought those five loaves and two fish to Jesus. And we know all about it, what happened after that. It was a great miracle. Um, so everybody were like, they mean, uh, there were like 12 baskets of extra of bread were collected. So it was a great miracle. But it only happened because this little boy came forward. And he had no idea, but he gave what he had. So this is my first point I want to talk about is this little things you do. So... Big, th- big things often have a small beginnings, right? So we don't need to chase all the big things all the time. It's the small things that do you in your life makes a huge impact. So I was thinking about what a game changer means, right? So it could be a lot of things, but I just came up with something like game changer is a person whose action or contribution has a brought an outstanding result or a great outcome. In this story, the great outcome is a miracle. With a little, the bo- what the boy did, it became a miracle, right? So, the, the, I mean, in everybody's life, you have a, these small things. I mean, we were hearing about from Mark about the volunteers, whether it's in the car park or within the auditorium or in the DK. So, you all do little things. It goes far, far, far. In my personal experience, uh, many, many years ago, I um, was in high school. 
and i happened to be in the exam hall uh, with i mean with my classmates uh, one of my friend just turned back and said to me oh um, i've lost my pen so it's probably we are already nervous you know in exam hall i'm nervous always so he lost his pen uh, fortunately i had to i had shared with him i forgot the story but this time in 2021 in april i was in in india and happened to meet uh, this chap and he's established himself well he's an ent surgeon he's got his own clinic uh, he reminded me about two things uh, franklin i just uh, say i talked to all my colleagues my family that i had a one friend uh, from my school and it's franklin i didn't even know that uh, he said that the reason for that is he he brought the story back saying that you shared a pen i can't even remember but he said you shared a pen with me that made a huge difference he was a class topper of course he did well and the other thing he said is uh, many times we have spoken he always said about i'll pray for you and he was a non believer non christian so it was good to hear that right so you never know what your words what you leave with them make that impact so we all have this uh, small things this little things it makes a huge impact i'm always um, inspired to read about mother teresa uh, we all know about mother teresa's missionaries of charities uh, they do lo- they did a lot of things in india so what what mother teresa did is she she do things without any expectation right she didn't have anything so she goes out helping orphanages or destitute women um, and also she get down and help people medic I mean uh, um, wrapping the wounds or many things we heard about she said this one i don't do great things i do small things with great love right so i don't do great things i do small things with great love so th- 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 that's a key message right that's what jesus is expecting not everybody can do great things or not, jesus is not expecting everybody to do great things if you bring those five loaves and two fish to jesus it could be a blessing to many it could be a, a difference to someone right it could be a miracle as well so i want to encourage as a church hallelujah yeah we can make a difference right we can make a difference when we heard about that um what we do in the food bank for the baby food we I mean we we had a um I mean uh, the uh, they were asking for a baby food so you can make the difference this week into the families into our communities the food bank does that's a great thing right in this community so i would encourage you right there are many things you do many things you do so let's let's um support our food bank for the baby food as well so i want to read this uh, another verse from the bible luke chapter 16 verse 10 because bible also says about this right whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much yeah whoever can be trusted with very little can be also trusted with much so i would encourage you the bible talks about also in matthew 24 21 his master replied well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful with few things i will put you in charge of many things so it's all the few things the little things we do that god wants to see in in us right so i want to encourage you that whether you are a volunteer or whether you are in out there in the world in your workplace or anywhere right so the small things makes a huge difference so i was thinking so i was talking about the little things you do and then the second one probably i was just highlighting about mother teresa i mean you do things without expectation my final point or the third point i would like to say is i mean god can use everybody right how can we use you right and these days we know we we mean of course we trust in god but also you got an helper right when jesus said um, he's uh, when i'm leaving i'm going to give you a help a holy spirit so he's going to come and uh, provide you teach you with all those things right in john 14:26 if you read the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything hallelujah yeah so the holy spirit can guide us teach us and lead us to all these things so i want to encourage you today right so uh, if you take care of god's business he will take care of yours 
Yes. So the little things you do matter most to God. So those little things going to make a big impact and a big difference, right? So I want to leave this thought with you today. The little things you do matter most to God. Hallelujah. How many of you are with you? So the people who are watching online, I want to encourage you. Whatever you do, right? Do it for God. The little things make a more, much more impact. So I want to pass it to Rosie now. So thank you for listening and praise God. <laughs>